All right, Paul, thank you very much. The Penguins doing double duty playing last night and once again tonight here in Boston and coach with no morning skate. I'm always curious to see if you will make any adjustments to your lineup. We already know earlier that Chris Kunitz will not play tonight. Will you switch things around as far as your lines and your, your deep pairings are concerned? Uh, Mark Andre Fleury will, will go back in that tonight. Uh, deep pairings, uh, we'll get Chris Letang back in there to play some big minutes for us tonight. And we'll be switching our, our third line. We'll be uh, 25, 15, and 16 tonight. As far as last night, playing with five defensemen, having some guys to play shorter shifts, longer minutes, um, I guess we'll find out when the game starts. But how does it affect what you'd like to do tonight, 24 hours later, knowing that your team played well, but had to spend a little bit more time on the ice than you would have liked? Yeah, well, we, we take a lot of pride in our uh, ability to play back-to-back -back nights the way we practice and uh, allows us to be able to play in these situations. And we are going to have some fatigue from some of those guys. 34 minutes, I think, for Paul Martin, 28 for uh, Zabednik. So Chris Latain will get in there and hopefully take a load of that, play a good, good solid game, get up where is in that 28-minute mark. But our guys should be able to bounce back. We've been good in that second game, 8-3-2, and two, I believe. And uh, we're going to have a challenge tonight with the Bees. And you, talking about that challenge, here's a team that's won seven in a row. Uh, I know they have a couple of solid goaltenders. They won't have Bergeron tonight. Uh, what stands out about them, or what do you think that you guys can focus in on as far as trying to get a win here? Well, they've been uh, very good this year. They've always been structurally sound defensively with their coach and their system. They've added some scoring this year. They've been able to get a uh, number of goals to help them be a real good team. Power play-wise, added Cabrillet. Uh, Sedano Chara shot back there, something we're going to have to stop here tonight, which has hurt us earlier this year. Uh, but this is a team I think we can affect on our forecheck, get in, be physical on them, have a big effect on their D. They like to go east-west when they're under pressure. That's something we want to hunt down, get pucks, and try to turn into offense. All right, Dan, best of luck tonight. Thanks, Dan. Paul, we'll see if the Penguins can come home with the victory as they face the Bruins at 7 o'clock. We'll see you soon. All right, that's Dan and Dan. Stick around after this. Where Mark andre Fleury. Something tells me Chris Letang will have that jersey tied down tonight as he and the Pittsburgh Penguins visit the Boston Bruins. Hello again, everybody. Paul Steiger, one along with Bob. For Ben Lovejoy, and our number six is our Pepsi Max bench interview. And you grew up in New Hampshire as a Bruins fan, spent one season at Boston College, and now you're playing here tonight for the first time as a pro. What's going through your head? This is my first time ever. This is this is the best. This was this was my hockey shrine growing up. The best the best players on the best team in the world played here. Uh, I couldn't be more excited. Now I'm sure those emotions will settle down at one point, and there is a, a job at hand, and that's to slow down the Bruins offense how do you do that tonight they've they've been a great team all year they're hot right now and I, I think we need to do keep doing what we've been doing you know flowers been great in net uh, we've been playing a good solid game defensively hopefully we'll get a few more tonight and uh, be able to keep them off the board Ben thank you very much my pleasure guys it's all